everyone welcome back to pabli in this video we are going to learn how to add google ads lead in google sheets with pabli connect so i am managing a marketing agency and to promote my business i am using google ads so i am running an ad campaign on my google ads and i have also created a lead gen form so my objective is that every time i am going to receive a new lead through the form submission which i have created and attached on my ad campaign in google ads automatically the details of that lead such as their name email address phone number city company name etc should be recorded systematically in my google sheets now to automate this entire process we will have to set up the connection between google ads and google sheets and that we are going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of pabli connect so if you also want to learn this amazing automation for your business step by step for that you have to come towards my screen Welcome to my screen everyone in this video I am going to show you step by step that how you can automatically add your Google Ads lead in Google Sheets now let's suppose I am running a marketing agency and to promote my business to promote my services I am using Google Ads I am running an ad campaign on Google Ads and I have also created a lead gen form so i want that whenever an interested lead or client is going to submit the lead gen form with their details such as their name their email address their phone number their city their company name then automatically the details should be recorded systematically in my google sheets okay okay so in order to automate this entire process we will have to build a connection between google ads and google sheets and that we are going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of pabli connect so pabli connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all our daily repetitive tasks without the requirement of any coding and any programming skills simply by setting up connections between our work applications So today with the help of Pabli Connect we are going to set up the connection between Google Ads and Google Sheets. So let's get started quickly. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com/connect/inr in our browser. After coming over here we will find two options sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user just click on sign in to log in to your account but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button. It will help you to create a free new account just in 2 minutes. Also when you will do that you're going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. So as an existing user currently I'm going to click on sign in. Now this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And you can see it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On the dashboard we can find all the workflows which we have created and to save these workflows we can also create separate folders like this. Now to create a new workflow let's click on this create workflow option. As we have done that a dialog box is appeared in front of us which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all let me quickly provide a name over here. Add Google Ads lead in Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. After giving the name to my workflow quickly I'm going to select the folder. So you can see I have list of folders over here I have created different folders for different kind of workflows the automation which I am going to set recently is related to lead management so that I will be able to easily manage my leads by organizing them systematically in my google sheets okay so for that automations for lead management will be my folder then I'm going to click on create you can also create separate folders like this to save separate kind of workflows as we have done that you can see a new screen is open in front of us the screen contains a blank workflow which we have to fill up in order to complete our automation successfully and it contains trigger and actions two extremely important windows so trigger and actions are the two main concepts the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this that means the action is a response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want Now let's suppose I want that as soon as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads for my business then automatically the details of that lead such as their name email phone number city country etc should be recorded systematically in my Google Sheets that to automatically for that I'm going to take Google Ads and trigger and Google Sheets in my action step when we are going to build the connection between these applications then you will see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the lead is received through Google Ads then only the data of that lead will be recorded in Google Sheets otherwise not so after understanding the whole concept of trigger as well as action let us start creating our automation step by step To start with the process first of all we will go towards our trigger step and we will select our trigger application that will be 
because by using which application you want to start your workflow. I want that when I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then my workflow should start. So now we'll select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. So new lead form entry will be our trigger event. This means that whenever a new form will be submitted in Google Ads by the lead, then the response is going to be captured. How we are going to receive the response? For that, we have to build the connection between Google Ads and Pabli Connect. And that we are going to do with the help of this webhook URL, which we have received. And how we are going to do that? By inserting the webhook URL inside of a Google Ads account by simply following the given instructions step by step. Okay, so let's copy the webhook URL as it is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of every new form entry in Google Ads towards Pabli Connect that too instantly. And by following the given instructions, we will insert it inside of a Google Ads account. So do not worry, I'm going to show you each and every step. For that, first of all, you have to go towards your Google Ads account and then you have to open the campaign which you are running. In the campaign, you will attach a lead gen form. So you have to first of all, add all the fields which you want in the form. You have to complete the form as I have done that already. You can see I have name, city, phone number, email address and the company name of my leads. Okay. So I want only these details, but if you want, you can add as many details as you want. Then we'll scroll down quickly and over here, once you will complete your form, you will see the option of lead delivery option. Okay, so let's select that. And now we have to paste the webhook URL in this webhook URL field. And then we have to provide the name to our key. So you can give any name to your key for which you're setting up this connection. So let's say I'm going to give new leads as the name of my key. Then because I'm not running a live campaign currently on my Google Ads account, I cannot send the response of a real lead currently towards Fably Connect. So to complete our automation to set up the integration, we have to use a test data. Therefore, I'm going to click on this send test data button. As we have done that, a test data is sent successfully towards Fably Connect. We will go back towards Fably Connect and we will wait for a few seconds. And you can see that yes, the test response is captured. This means our connection between Google Ads and Fably Connect is absolutely successful. I'm going to continue my workflow with this test response only as I'm not running any live campaign. Once you will set up this connection, you're going to receive the response of all the actual leads when they are going to submit the lead gen form. Okay, so do not worry. So you will receive the actual response and all the details of that actual leads are going to be recorded in Google Sheets when you, once you will set up the connection. In the response here, you can see we have received all the same details for which we have selected the fields in Google Ads for the lead gen form. See, we have company name, that is a demo company name. We have a demo city, we have a demo email, demo phone number. Then we have some other details, first name, last name, okay? This means our connection is successful and now every time a new lead is going to submit the lead gen form in Google Ads, automatically the response is going to be captured with all the details. Once we have set up the connection, our objective is to create a record of this lead in Google Sheets. I'm going to currently delete the existing data from my Google Sheets and this is the spreadsheet which I want to connect with Pabli Connect to record my Google Ads leads response. Okay, the name of the lead is leads data. So now I'm going to go towards my action step in Pabli Connect and we will select Google sheets in our action application then you will quickly select the action event what you want i want to create a new row every time the lead will be received through google ads so add new row will be our action event now the time is to build the connection between google sheets and public connect for that you can see i am already logged into my google sheets and i've also opened the spreadsheet which i want to connect you also have to do the same then you will click on connect and here we have two options add new connection select existing connection so to build the connection if you already have an existing connection with google sheets you can just go with that option i'm going to show you that how you can create a new connection for that i have clicked on this add new connection button and now i'm going to click on sign in with google now i'm going to select my account quickly and then Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our google account our data is 100% saved with Pabli Connect so let's quickly click on allow and as we have done that, you can see that the authorization between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is built successfully. So now we'll move forward and we have to enter the details in these fields to create a record systematically. First of all, for that, we will select the spreadsheet. And here, the name of my spreadsheet is Leads Data. And you can see it is already selected. You also have to select the spreadsheet you want to connect from the drop down. Then we have to select the sheet name, which is already selected because currently I only have one sheet over here. Then we have to enter the name, email, phone number, company name, and the city. All these fields are the same as we have the columns in our spreadsheet and all these fields are the same which we have received from our earlier response. All these details are already captured. We will simply map them by using our previous step. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. As you know, we have received all these details in our earlier response, such as first name, last name, email, etc. So instead of entering the details manually, we will simply map the data so that it can become dynamic. So here we have the first name. I have selected that. Then I'm going to use a space and then I'm going to map the last name of the lead. 
In this way, I have mapped the full name. And as I have mapped the name, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, automatically it is going to replace. So every time a new lead is going to receive through Google Ads, automatically the name is going to replace with a new name of that new lead. And not only the name, but we are going to map all of the details as well so that the data could become dynamic and we can automate the process fully. Okay. Now we'll map the email which we have received. Then we have the phone number. All these details are test details. As we have received the test response, we are mapping them only. But in your case, you will be mapping the real one. Okay, then we have the company name. I have mapped that and then the city. Okay, as we have mapped all the details, now let's click on save and send test request button quickly. And you can see that the response is captured. One more thing I have to tell you that if instead of mapping, we will enter the data manually, then that data will become static and it is not going to replace every time. Therefore, mapping is very important to automate the process. Okay, as the response is captured, now I'm going to quickly take you towards my Google Sheets. And here we can see that, yes, the response is systematically captured and recorded. Here we have the name, first name, last name. We have email, phone number, company name, and the city. So this means our connection between Google Ads and Google Sheets is absolutely successful. Now, every time the lead is going to receive for our business through Google Ads, automatically the data of that lead is going to be recorded in the systematic format in separate columns in Google Sheets. So in this way, effortlessly, our record will be created for all the leads so that we will be able to follow up with the leads, nurture them, and definitely convert them into payable customers to grow our business. I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli .com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.